Hello everyone, this is Damien. This is going to be episode number 17 of Beginner's Java. Uh, what we're going to be talking about today is classes and objects. So this is where object-oriented programming, well, at least for Java, gets its object-orientedness. So there's a lot of advantages to using uh, objects over just normal variables. Uh, these are really important to use because a lot of uh, methods we might be using in the future might not support things being called from a static interface and sometimes using objects is a really good way to get around that uh, otherwise there is a lot of really good reasons to use them uh, polymorphism modularization etc so we'll get more into that stuff in intermediate java but for now we're going to go to make a new class and we're going to make a car uh, you wouldn't download a car, would you? So we're uh, we're just making that. We're leaving all this stuff blank. We don't need it to have a main because it's just going to be a class. Uh, and so the package is at the top, but otherwise it's it's pretty much empty. It just says public class car. We'll add some uh, some lines in. Now, when we're dealing with a class, we basically have three or four things. We have some, some variables that can be in it. We can have methods that can be in it. And then we can have, uh, let's see, we can, we can have um, what are called constructors. And so the way constructors work in Java is pretty simple. There's uh, always a default constructor, which means that if we don't specify well, wait, wait, let's let's make this easier. Back up. So first things first, what are some identifying qualities of a car? So if we were to ask for some identifying qualities of a car, a person might say that there's an integer, which is the number of wheels on a car. Uh, they might also say that there's an integer, which is the number of windows on the car. Uh, they might say that there's a double miles per gallon for, for fuel economy. Um, for those of you in, in Europe, that might be like liters per kilometer or something along those lines. I don't know if that's how you guys measure it, uh, but I'm going to run with the assumption that it probably is since you have the imperial system, or I'm sorry, the metric system. We have imperial. So that being said, we, we have these variables and these are lovely variables. Uh, however, we want the user to be able to specify how to fill these uh, when the object is created. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make what's called a, uh, a default constructor. And what a default constructor does is it says that if somebody doesn't make or, or give us any information when they create an object, we want it to be created like this. And the way we do that is we just call our class name and we just put uh, an empty set of parentheses there. So in this case, it's just public car, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, open bracket, and then a couple lines down, close bracket. And so what we'll do is we'll say int wheels equals four because that's what uh, most cars have. We'll do um, int windows equals uh, four as well. And uh or wait we don't we don't want to do int again so we want to do wheels equals four windows equals four mpg equals 20.0 so those are things that we're going to assume uh for a car if our user doesn't give us any input because those are those are fairly average uh, most cars have four wheels. Most cars have four windows. Well, if it's a sedan, if it's a coupe, it doesn't. So, you know, we, we make some assumptions if the user doesn't want to tell us something. But then we make it so that the user can tell us uh, what they want to do. So we'll make public car and we'll take in int uh, windows. Uh, actually, let's, let's make this a little easier. Int win or int wheel, or w8, int well, int win, and double, uh, 
miles per gal. So I did that with those names for a reason. Uh, I didn't want to get into the this uh, keyword quite yet. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say wheels equals well, windows equals win, and mpg equals miles per gal. And so we set all these things that way. So now what we can do is we can come back into our, our lesson.java and we can create some new car objects. So what we'll do is we'll call um, car uh, my car equals new car. Just like that. And so you'll see that we've created a new car. So now what we're going to do is do a system.out.println. And the name of this car that we have created is my car. So we're going to do three uh, system.out.println's here. And we're going to do my car dot, uh, mpg, And then we're just going to do wheels and windows. So same sort of thing. And one more for Windows. So we're going to save this, give this a run. And you're going to notice that, like we sort of expected, since we use this default constructor here, we, we get the 24 and 4 the way that we'd set it. So that means that it hit this public constructor, uh, or default constructor, I'm sorry. So let's make another one of these and, and do it the exact same way, but instead let's feed in some values. So let's do car my car two and do the same thing here. So two, two, two. And now let's feed in some, some stuff. So let's give it 25.9 miles per gallon, uh, or wait. So this is like a method in that you have to feed things in in the right uh, order. So in this case, I said the number of wheels, the number of windows, and the number of miles per gallon. So let's sort of put these in the right order when I print them out. So we kind of avoid some confusion there. So there we go. That makes a bit more sense. So now let's say that this is a, a big pickup truck. Okay. So maybe it has six wheels. It has two in the front and then it has doubled wheels in the back. So let's say six. Uh, the number of windows is two, because how many a pickup truck usually has, I guess. And it gets 14.1 miles per gallon. So we, uh, we, we specify exactly what we want to be there. And so, you know, that shows up there. So that means that it hit this uh, constructor right here. So now we can set up some methods and, and kind of go through that if we have the time. Yeah, actually we do. So let's assume that uh, we, we want to have the ability to take in some numbers to figure out our miles per gallon. So let's say that we get rid of miles per gallon uh, as, as part of this constructor and we get rid of it from the default constructor. Uh, and instead, we take a public void uh, figure mpg, and we'll take in um, int miles and int gallons. And so what we'll do here is we'll figure out how much their, uh, their mpg is. So what we're going to do is we're going to set uh, mpg equal to miles. Oh, I should I should probably set uh, both of these to double. Allow some floating point, and that way I don't have to do any sticky conversions. So miles divided by gallons. And so if you wanted to, you could name these a bit more you know, uh, descriptive names, miles driven, gallons of gas, something along those lines. So let's get rid of uh, this constructor entirely. And let's get rid of that. And so we're going to stick with a sort of analogy that we have a car with uh, 
with six wheels and two windows. So we're going to stick with that uh, idea of a big truck. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say my car two, and we're going to move this MPG because it's going to be uninitialized at that point. We're going to move it down here. And we're going to say dot find or dot figure MPG and miles we're going to say is a uh, 250.2 Two five, and the amount of gas we used to drive that far was maybe uh, I don't know maybe thirteen point five gallons. And so when we do this, it should set the miles per gallon equal to that. So here's what we're gonna do: we're going to say system dot out dot printlin. We're going to say setting MPG equal to miles divided by gallons. And so we'll just kind of put that there so it outputs. So we know that it's hitting that and not uh, any of these other constructors. Or, well, any of these other, well, it definitely won't hit the constructor because we're calling the method. So anyways, we'll give this a run. And you'll notice that it says setting miles uh, per gallon, and then we do a, a printlin on this miles per gallon, and it sort of figured it out for us. So this is how we can use an object to hold methods. So at this point, it's holding uh, variables, it's holding default constructors, it's holding specialized constructors, and it's holding methods for us. Now, as a sort of final thing that we're going to do here, is we're going to go one step further with this and we're I'm going to sort of show you guys how you kind of do things once you get into the software development industry you no longer really use uh, a public integer so in this case we have these integers they're not public but they're not private in in the business you're probably going to start using private integers so we're going to set all of these to private and in this case, it's, it's totally okay to set things like that. But when we start to call them out here, you're going to notice that we get this, uh, these errors because it's not in the same file. So what we're going to do, I don't know if we, we have uh, a button to do this. Yeah, we do. We actually have a thing right here called generate setters and getters. So we can create all three of these just by uh, selecting right here that we want to make some setters and getters. Um, we can tell it where to insert. And of course, we want these to be public. So that means that we can call these from anywhere. So we're going to hit OK. And it's going to allow us to get the number of wheels and set the number of wheels. So let's say that we, we make the number of wheels on this uh, truck and we decide, ah, shit, we didn't mean to do six. We wanted to do four. So we could call my car two dot set wheels and set that to four, which is what we'd want. Uh, from there, we can output that by calling mycar 2getwheels and the same thing for windows it changes from windows to dot get windows uh, and the same thing with mpg it would be dot get mpg so we sort of change everything to being called from a method so that way we know if something is being you know pulled from our class or if we're using something to set it uh, so this is a very useful uh, thing. It, it definitely prevents a lot of errors when you're uh, quickly programming something because, you know, things are now broken down in a way where you can't have errant calls going through your program. So everything becomes a lot more conscious and everything becomes uh, more planned out and more structured. So with that being said, I'm going to post the source code to this. Uh, it, it, it is a little haphazard, and I feel like I haven't explained it enough, but we're going to be sticking with uh, objects for probably the next five or six lessons. So I hope you guys will continue to join me so I can finish explaining that and so we can get into some fun stuff. I hope you guys had fun. My name's Damien.
Happy New Year. <laughs>